It's a world of mystery. Do you really want to know? Hello, my name is Data. Hope you're doing well. March 14th, 2025. That could be one of the most significant dates we've ever experienced in our lifetimes, or it could mean nothing at all. But there's a bunch of stuff that's happening on that particular date that is very significant and you may find interesting. Number one is the date itself. Three. Point one four, March is three. Fourteenth is the date. Three point one four is the mathematical pi. And how could this be significant? Well, I'm not sure, but let's see what pi is. Pi is a mathematical constant representing the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. It is an irrational number, meaning it cannot be expressed as a fraction of two integers. Pi's value is approximately 3.14159, and any numerical exp expression of it is infinite. It is represented by the Greek letter pi, and only the first 40 digits are needed for accurate calculations. But in modern times, mathematicians are still computing, and they have used to calculate pi to a record 100 trillion digits. Also, on that particular day, um, we are going to experience a full moon. So on pi day, we're going to experience a full moon, but it's not going to be just any moon. It's going to be a blood red moon. In America, we call it the blood moon because it has a little bit of a red hue to it. It's kind of interesting, it'll be pretty cool. But that's not it, that's not the end of it. There's also gonna be an eclipse that will be visible across North and South America. The lunar eclipse that'll happen on the night of March 13th and 14th in 2025 will be a full phase of the eclipse and will be visible across the United States. This is a total lunar eclipse. Part of the eclipse will be visible across Europe, Asia, Australia, South America, and much of Africa, and it, it is expected to last about 65 minutes. A blood moon occurs when the Earth aligns between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon's surface. The moon appears red because of the red wavelengths are least affected by the eclipse, so the light reaching the moon's surface has a reddish hue. Sometimes a blood moon is represented as a time of spiritual growth, bringing a situation to a close. Sometimes it means chaos and disruption, and sometimes it means a heightening of the emotions, and lunar eclipses can trigger some of these effects in us. Here's a little information on that eclipse. So those are some cosmological mathematical dates that seem to align together and that in itself is interesting but what's also interesting is on march 15th is typically known as the ides of march the ides of march is a day from the ancient roman calendar and it falls on march 15th this is associated with misfortune and doom mainly because it was a renowned date from when the Roman dictator Julius Caesar was assassinated in the year 44 BCE. Julius Caesar was warned, beware the Ides of March. And we know how that turned out. So we'll see what happens. So get ready. March 14th, we'll see what happens on that particular day but it should be very interesting. Get your cameras out, get your telescopes out, especially if you live in the Americas. You have some good celestial views. All right, that'll do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.